welcome back to my channel. I hope you really enjoyed the three first videos I filmed. I am having a lot of fun. I even bought a new ring light, um, which is part of my haul that I'm trying to do today, but you won't see it because it's behind the camera. But I'm super excited to get my YouTube going off much more stronger than I did before. This lighting is fantastic, and I love it. Okay, so we went to Dollar Tree, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx Home Goods. And yes, love all of it. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to get this going. So let's get started. So the first store I want to show you guys is the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to show you guys more than just makeup products because I feel like maybe you guys want to see what else they have while I'm there. Um, I did get three Fourth of July signs or Memorial Day Labor Day. You can use all of them. So this one's a truck and it says USA on it. It's very glittery. And then this one says, God bless America. Very cute. And this one says, Land of the Free. So like I said, you could use these for 4th of July, Labor Day, and Memorial Day, which is fantastic. Um, and then some of the other things at Dollar Tree that are 4th of July, Memorial Day themed are some scarves. Now, I might not use these as scarves because it does get a little hot, but I like to use them on my tables for decorations. This one has like ice cream on it with flags, which is super cute. This one has just stars on it. And the last one, let's see, it has like a truck and it says, this one actually does say 4th of July on it, but it has like Sweet Land of Liberty, Home of the Brave, um, little flowers. It, this just has everything put it up in the one scarf. So that's the 4th of July theme stuff I got. Um, I'm also a bit of a crafter and I got these knife sets there and I needed something to cut them on. So I found these cutting mats that they have. I bought two because I feel like I may cut a lot and wear them out quickly. But they are very nice. And yeah. And then lastly, some this kind of stuff. I got two of these. I actually already have two of these, but I want two more because I planted in them and I love them. They say flowers and garden on both sides, which is awesome. You can drill holes in the bottom and actually plant plants in here. Or actually, some people take their makeup and put it inside of it also. So this has a dual purpose. Uh, something I got that doesn't really want any beauty or anything. Um, I love Hint Water. And this is the Hint Black Raspberry Caffeine Kick. I've never tried these before. So I thought I would. And it was only a dollar, so why not? Um, something else crafty that I got are these twines. I'm not going to say I'm going to pull all of them out for you guys. But all these colors. If you go to somewhere like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you're going to pay like $4 a piece for these. And these were only a dollar each. And you can also use these to um, decorate with pictures of your makeup or whatever. So these also have multi-purposes. So next I have my bag full of Dollar Tree makeup. I'm going to do a full face or almost full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Now all of it is actually bad brands. So some stuff I got here. Um, I did find some Flower Beauty, which I'm super, super excited about because I've been wanting to try it. This is the Lip Suede Matte Velvet Finish Lip Crayon. They call it a chubby, and this is in shade Life's a Peach. So that's super cute. So that's my one of my lip products. And then, let's see. I got this e.l.f. lip pencil in Mauve Luxe, which I'm very excited to try that. Okay, and then something else by Flower Beauty is I got these blushes. They are called Cream Blush. And I got the shade BL5, which is when, uh, Primrose and Proper. And then BL... Two, which is shade Peach Blossom. And I'm not really sure about the applicators in here. I probably won't use them, but I do want to try these blushes. They are from Flower Beauty once again. And then for concealer, they actually had Milani Retouch and Erase, and they had the shade Fair. They only have one of these left, so I think it was meant to be. Um, then for primer, this is the only one they had. It's um, LA Color Smoothing Face Primer Color Correcting. This is clear. This one minimizes the pores. On the side, it tells you what the other ones do. Um, so, yeah. And um, then the only brow pencil I found was the LA Colors Defines and Fills Brows. This is dark blonde. Uh, I think my skin, my skin, I think my hair is actually a little lighter than this, but um, it's the only one they have, so I'm going to try it. And then I had to get the LA Colors Volume Mascara. It says it thickens lashes. This is in shade Rich Black. 
And then I got the eye marker, slim felt tip eye marker in the shade black. It says it's smudge proof, so we will have to see about that. Um, and then I got some more of the um, Wet n Wild gel lip liners that I told you guys I liked. Um, they had two different shades that I don't have in Think Flamingos and Send Nudes, which is really cute. So that's these guys. Okay, so the next thing I got is, this is the only foundation that they really had when I went. It's LA Colors Matte Foundation. And they have the shade buff. I'm not really quite sure if it's my shade or not, but we have to work with it. Uh, let's see, then I got this, which I don't know if you can go use for this look, but I got it because I wanted to try it. It's Wet n Wild Lip Color, and it's in shade Lilac. That's super cute. I've never, like, had a lip color this color before, so I thought, hey, for a dollar, let me try it if it sucks. You know, I don't know if I'm going to look good with purple line. We'll see. Um, and then they did have a bronzer and a highlighter, which I was super excited about. Because um, sometimes when you go do your Dollar Tree hauls, you don't get everything. So here's the LA Colors Highlight in shade Shine Bright. And the LA Colors Bronzer in shade Sun Goddess. The bronzer looks a little shimmery, but we'll have to see. They did have a LA Colors Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Light. So for the eyeshadow, I didn't really see a palette that I liked. Some of them were Touch. And I thought it'd be cool to try liquid shadows instead. These are by Wet n Wild. They're called Liquid Cat Suit. Um, super excited to try these. This one's like a metallic liquid, a shimmer, and then a cream. So I have three different kinds of sheens here. This is Putty in My Hands, Golden Luxe, and Ruby Heist. So we're going to see how those perform. And then I got this just as an extra. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe not. This is the another Flower Beauty product. This is her eyeliner in shade Electric Volt. So excited to try that. So for the setting spray, I found the Heart Candy 12 Hour Illuminating Setting Spray. I've heard so many good things about this online. I'm so excited that I found it because it's going online for like $8. And I'm really glad I got it for a dollar. Um, and then I got a Flower Beauty nail polish called... Good buddy, I can try that another time. And then for my lips, I also got this. This looks like really like Jeffrey Star component in my opinion, but anyway. Um, Mega Last Liquid Katsu High Shine Lipstick. I am very excited to try this. I love this color. It looks amazing and it looks like it's gonna go with the eye look. Um, and then just for fun, I got these Wet n Wild lip liners. Where are they? They're eyeliners, I'm sorry, they're eyeliners. And they're different weird purple blue colors. And then I just got, um, they didn't have any lashes, and I didn't, um, uh, maybe I'll go another time before I film, but they didn't have any lashes, but I did get the Ani Everlash, Everlasting Lash Glue. I'm really hoping to find some of their lashes, but so far, no luck, but at least I got some glue for now. So that's for that, and that's all I have for the Dollar Tree. Okay, so the next store I really want to show you guys is Marshall's. Um, I love Marshall's personally. I think they have great products. So one thing I do want to show you is something that my boyfriend got in case you have uh, guys in your life that you want to buy for. These are Under Armour swim shorts and they retail for $48 and he got them for $20 which is an amazing price. It's a little more than half off so that's great. Um, the next thing I got is this hero kit. It's called Rescue Mission and it has Micro Point for blemishes, Mighty Patches, like the regular ones, and then Rescue Balm. So it has the, so the Micro Point is a take control of early stages, the Mighty Patch is for whiteheads, and the Rescue Balm is for posts, and then they also have like these little things that you can store them in, in your drawer. And I thought this box was just super cute to keep it all in. Um, the next product I got is not a makeup product or a beauty product, but I did get this for my mom for Mother's Day because she was like, she wanted one for 4th of July. And it does light up. And this was $16.99, but these normally go for mm, probably $40 to $50. So this is a great deal. Next thing I got, um, I'm a huge Cubs fan. Um, I do live in the Chicagoland area. And they did have this Cubs hat there. Super excited about it. It was originally $26 at Clark Street Sports, which is actually right by Wrigley Field. And I got it for $8, so that's just amazing. Um, the next thing I got, I'm going to show you about my Cubs stuff really quick. I did get this Cubs stuff. Um, what is this, like a sweatshirt? 
Uh, I think so. Something like that. It's a Nike and it retailed for $90. And Marshalls had it for $34.99, but then they put it down on price for $28. So this was a huge steal. I have another cup of them somewhere when we get to it. I'll pull it out. But the next thing is these Toms. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I do wear a size 8. Um, they are, let's see, what says they are. They are, oh boy, Madruga Black, Black Suede, Vegan Tan Leather. So yeah, this is, these are so cute. And they have this zipper on the side that you zipper up, and that's what they look like. And that's the heel height. They don't have the retail price on these on here. Um, they do have like something on here for Marshalls that says what they originally were for, but those are never really correct. I don't even know where the Marshall tag is actually. Um, okay. It says they originated for 38 and they're 30, but I guarantee you that they are more than that. I like in the $70 range, something like that. So yeah, those are awesome. Let's see what else I got for clothes. So I got these Love Streak Active Shorts. I got um, two two packs. So I got four pairs of shorts. Um, they're very soft and comfy. Um, I do have their joggers, and they're amazing. These were only $9.99 each for each two pack. And they fit fantastically, and they are true to size in my opinion. So go pick these up if you can find them. The next thing, they have this on clearance for St. Patrick's Day. So again, I used, I said I do live in Illinois, and it said that this retailed for $6.99, and it was $5.50. Or just for $10, and it was $6.99, and then I got it for $5.50. Um, but I don't really think those are accurate, those prices, in my opinion. Um, let's see. This is from Fanatics. Now, I bet you your stores have your baseball teams as well. I'm just showing you mine. This is a cute little Cubs guy here. Again, it's a half zip. Uh, let's see. I, it was 28, it says it, it was $20 and this was $19.99. I love it. Um, then I got these Lucky Brand sunglasses. I love these. Look how cute they are. Lucky Brand is expensive and it says that they compare it $17. I know they were way more than that, um, but they were only $9.99. Go check out your sunglasses there because these are definitely dark enough to be outside. For sure. And then I got these because I'm always needing storage containers. Um, the original price is covered up, but I got them on clearance for five bucks, which is amazing. Um, they have little ones for like your bobby pins, and then these long ones, and then these bigger ones on the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna get into the makeup portion of the Marshalls shopping, makeup slash beauty. Um, so my, one of my favorite TV shows is Friends. It's probably actually my favorite TV show. And they had the How You Doing Honey Suckle and Rose Scented Body Butter. And it was only $3.99. And I'm very excited about this to get it going. And it smells, I mean, it's sealed, but you can smell it. And it smells so good. And for $3 or $4, I could not pass it up. And then I um, decided that I really need to... Start doing my brows. I did use the ColourPop Brow Pencil today. Uh, I'm just getting there, so yeah. But I saw this Benefit Brow Contour Pro 4-on-1 Contour Pencil. This was $9.99, and it has um, step one. You put on the brow, and then there's all these steps, and it tells you how to do it. And when you open it, it almost looks like one of those pencils you got, or one of those pens you had when you were younger, and it has all these different shades in there to get you going. So I thought that was super cool. We'll try that out in a future video. Um, then I got this Lipstick Queen lipstick in shade Highway 56. So it, when you open it, I'll show you real quick. Come on, come on. Um, it is this crazy green color, but when you put it on on your lips, it'll be nude, kind of like the pink one that they have. So it is not this green color, but that's super cool to like have it in that green color. Um, then I got two packs of these cleansing nose strips. These actually pull blackheads and imperfections out of your nose, and I love them. 18 of them for $3.99, which is great. And then I got this Kula Lip Lux Original Formula SPF 30 lip, um, lip balm because I feel like I need to put lip balm on my lips in the summer. 
Sometimes um, they have like SPF uh, 15 for lip balm, but I really wanted a lipstick that did that. Or a lip, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a chapstick, a chapstick. Oh my gosh, get that out of your brain. Um, and I hear good things about Kula, and it was only $4.99, so that's great. Um, then, let's see, I got the Ready Bendy Avocado Concealer by First Aid Beauty, and I've never tried this. This is in Fair 2. This was actually my shade. I compared it to my Benefit Point Concealer, and it was almost identical shade, so that does not happen often, which is super awesome. And then, um, I did find a e.l.f. Solid Sponge Cleanser, and it is solid when you pull it out, and it smells like charcoal. Um... These retail, I think, for $4 on the website. You may have not clear for a dollar. So I'm super, super excited about this because you always need this to clean. And then I got two more things. Um, I saw this in a YouTube video. I forgot the YouTuber. Oh, you're going to kill me. But she said, even if the shades are crazy in these, it looks like a, a liquid lipstick, but it's a, like, actually a... This is a hydrating lip gloss stick, so it's a stick, but it's a lip gloss, and they're sheer, and I'm very, very excited. This is my first Marc Jacob product. And I cannot wait to try it. And then the last thing I got there was another Lipstick Queen product. This is their lip gloss in shade Milky Way. And this was also only a dollar. Look how pretty that is. I love that. No scent really. It just kind of smells like lip product. Um, I thought for a dollar let me try it because their products are very expensive um, in the normal store. So, yeah, that's what I have for T, uh, Marshalls. Okay, so next, my last store I went to was TJ Maxx Home Goods. Mostly everything I got was from the <clears throat> excuse me, TJ Maxx side. Um, but I love gnomes, love, love, love them. And I found this gnome right here. He's for Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July, and he's just adorable. And I love him. He has this little heart. Okay, so they have three things from the Prex Barbie collection. I did get the blush at another time. But this is the Litmus. They had at this TJ Maxx, they had their stuff on clearance. So this was only three dollars, which is amazing. I was like, oh, I have to try it for three dollars. When you open it, it almost looks like a perfume to me. I know it's very exciting. I think it has like reflects in there, and I think that's pretty. Even just to like leave out on your thing. Oh, it's beautiful in there. I'll have to try that out soon. And then they had the Per X Barbie Endless Possibilities 2. This is the palette. So this is what the palette looks like. This has a lot of shades in it. Oh my gosh. Some of these are just beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I love it. It says it's expired after six months, but I feel like everyone always uses their eyeshadow past that mark anyway. So yeah, this is beautiful. And it has a really nice mirror in it. I love the packaging. It's beautiful. Um, next, I got in the Prayer Barbie collection. They didn't have all of the glosses, but they had this one. This was a clearance for a dollar. I'm not really quite sure why their Barbie stuff was clearance, but it was. This is called Girl Gloss. And this is so pretty. You can see it right through there. It's just like kind of like a clear, pretty shade. And I love it. And it has... So in order to open it, you can't just open it, which is kind of cool. You have to press this button and it releases it. It's kind of cool. And the doe foot is so interesting to me. I don't know, it's very interesting to me. Anyway, the next thing I got from TJ Maxx Home Goods. Let me go in between and show you a couple other things. I got a couple pairs of earrings. These are by Gold Cake. They do have a website. But I get them from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Um, this is their limes, I believe. I don't know if it says it here. I don't know. They look like limes or lemons to me. And they dangle and they're just super cute. And I love these. I do have a bunny pair from them and a daisy pair from them. Love that. And then these are the other pair of earrings. These are bumblebees. And bumblebees are just so cute. And I love them. Great for summer. They're both sterling silver earrings. Next, I have a Zuvella palette. This one's the Spice of Life palette. I did get one of these in my Ipsy. This one was only $6.99. Oh my gosh, look at this. I Some people have mixed reviews about these palettes. I like mine. I think it blends really well. We'll see if this one blends the same as the one I own. 
but I personally like these. Um, that's my opinion. You can have your own, right? Like I said before. Next, I got this Steel Liquid Eyeshadow in shade Ignomatic, and this is what it looks like swatched. I had to swatch this one because it's just, I almost put it down like twice, and I just I love it. It looks so weird in the bottle, but I'm very excited about it. And it was on clearance for $2, which makes it even better. Um, two more things, and then, oh, three more things. Um, then I got this Jouer Lip Topper. This is Champagne Gold, and it was on sale for $2 also. And this is pretty. This is a lip topper. I can swatch this one for you, too, because I already have it open. Um, it goes on top of liquid lips, uh, anything. It's just so pretty. I feel like maybe you can even use them on your eye. I'm not really quite sure. We'd have to look that up to make sure they're eye safe, but we can look. Um, then I actually got something I've been looking for for a very long time. This is my third one I found, and I will buy each one that I see because I'm obsessed with it. This is the Jouer X Jeffree Star Longwear Lip Topper. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with this shade, and I wish they still made it. But in a way, I'm kind of glad they didn't because then, you know, you wouldn't get it this cheap. It is like a Barbie pink. Oh my gosh. I love that. So these are the two Jouets, and this is the Stila. Once again, I thought I'd share that with you. And then the last product I got was something that I kept looking at every time I went there. Um, and I kept putting it down, putting it down. But it just keeps getting cheaper. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip Set. It originally retailed for $70. It says it right here. and But the value is $200. There's 10 liquid lipsticks in here. And I got it for just $15 on clearance. Go run to your local TJ Maxx. Um, so that brings it to about $0.67 cents a lipstick. That's insane. Oh my god. One of these retails for like, what, $18? Something like that? I love this. It's so awesome. They have 10 shades in here. This is Bellini. I'll go over these really quickly. This is Cali Sunset. This is Chrome Rose Gold. This is Chrome Shadow. Okay, double check that one. This is Chrome Olive. So all these are chromes, which I've never really bought before, but I thought it'd be awesome. This one's called Pink Punch. Wow, what a fun thing. This would look so cute with the Jeffree Lip Topper. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that combo out. This is Chrome Violet, so it's like a violety color. This is Chrome Bronze. It's very chromey in here. This is Chrome Burgundy. And this one looks absolutely gorgeous red, and this is Chrome Red Liquid Lipstick. So yeah, these retail for $70, or a $200 value, excuse me, and I got them for $0.67 cents a piece. And these are great lipstick products from what I've heard. I've never tried them before, but I'm very excited to. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching again. Um, if there's anything you want to see in the future, let me know. Like I said, look for that Dollar Tree full face that I'm going to be doing real soon. But other than that, that's all I have for today. And I can't wait to keep filming for you guys and keep getting out there in the makeup world. Let me know what you think. Uh, like this video if you liked it, if you like me, if you want to see more videos like this. And also let me know in the comments any suggestions, any anything, any questions you have. Anything, follow me on Instagram at Beauty Guru Rachel. Also on Facebook at Beauty Guru Rachel. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Everybody have a great day or night wherever you're watching. I love you.